for some reason, I don't know why, but Joe Rogan's been posting these really weird videos on his Instagram stories lately. He's obviously talking about taking pictures of Mars and the moon with his Samsung Galaxy. He was shilling for Chevrolet on the Tim Dillon. When Tim Dillon appeared on the show recently, he did that weird McDonald's tie-in with one fan fight companion. And now he's been filming these weird things where he's been talking about being in a, what, in a sauna and also being, um, doing ice cold baths and filming it and recording himself how long he's been in there. It's been bizarre, but he has this weird thing where he kind of feels like if he keeps pushing himself and doing things that are kind of really difficult, despite him obviously being somebody that has a lot of wealth, has a lot of kind of resources, access, network, bloody blah, 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 to just live a comfortable life, that it somehow keeps him grounded. And it's quite admirable because, again, as, as a fan of his, he's definitely one of the least douchebaggy multi multi-millionaires that exist right definitely has to be up there like he doesn't necessarily give you rich douchebag energy he can kind of be a little bit um he can kind of be a little bit you know oblivious to the life of an average american out there or average human being but that's you know that makes complete sense considering he's been a multi-millionaire for the majority of his life mostly would you say majority maybe from the 30s on wood he's kind of been able to command a pretty good salary and wage for himself and obviously with the back of the podcast he's built a substantial amount of wealth and especially off the back of the spotify deal so if him doing these cold baths is a good indicate is a way for him to kind of keep himself humble then fair play but it is bizarre to see some somebody of his age doing such a thing and it's even more bizarre when you get these really funny screen caps like this one where he's got rogan's got these amazingly protruding nipples that look like flipping pinky fingers right just dangling out of his chest and for some reason his head looks even more bigger than what it usually does supposedly this is some consequence of being you know the, of being on a cocktail of steroids that he's allegedly well not allegedly because he does say he's on them but the cocktail of steroids that he supposedly takes all the time that's probably a consequence of it right this massive head i think um dana white um the president of the ufc has the same sort of thing where his head's always consistently red even though he's supreme you jack he's got this weird kind of massive bulbous flubby head and rogan seems to have the same thing but these nips are just on another level fair enough it might be because of the cold but i've been i've been informed by some of my um with some of my gay friends that this is usually a telltale sign that somebody's into bdsm sort of nipple play sort of stuff right where you kind of have clamps attached to your nips and then those clamps have like weights or whatever it may be called and you get some sort of sexual satisfaction from all that sort of stuff allegedly this is a telltale sign of it or somebody that likes to have their nipples play with and they're you know in the bedroom who knows but it's just so weird it really is to see a 50 year old man doing stuff like this but again it's one of those weird things that if, if this is what keeps him humble then keeps him being the way he is then i don't really have a problem with it because he's one of the only people that i know who has a hundred million dollars supposedly sitting in an account somewhere and he seems to be the same guy he hasn't really changed that much he's not suddenly wearing you know diamond rings and big chains and shit he hasn't necessarily bought a gold helicopter he just seems the completely same guy um judging by the pictures we've seen of his house that he moved into in austin it seems fairly kind of you know modest considering his level of wealth and stuff he seems to be operating and moving just like a regular dude which is again super admirable but these sort of pictures these sort of screen caps are just utterly utterly bizarre i really really do not understand them in the slightest but you know when you're maybe when you're that rich and you're you know and you're his age and you kind of feel like you still have a lot of life to live you just get bored in the house not much to do he's not really into playing video games and stuff he's that he's you know he's got hobbies that he kind of has exhausted what more can you do than you know do these kind of live impromptu instagram story challenges in a kind of tim ferris kind of fashion hopefully um spanning more sponsorship deals right i'm sure he's got a brand deal with whoever supplied that cold bath um you know i don't know i don't know but it's just, it's just interesting to see from the outside looking in so big up joe rogan on that extent